in astrology venus's sign shows our love style it shows what we value what we find pleasurable what we find attractive so if you're looking at your natal chart and you want to know how you or someone else loves you want to look at the placement of venus in their natal chart so venus in taurus when you see venus in taurus this is an especially strong placement because Venus is the sign of its rulership. Venus rules Taurus. So love is very important to people with Venus and Taurus and it's actually a really good placement to have for love and relationships because the qualities of Taurus are inherently um, compatible with Venus because it's Venus's sign. So these people tend to be amazing lovers who um, truly know how to love. So it's a really good idea when you meet someone with Venus and Taurus or you're doing their chart to tell them, you know, this is an especially good placement. Now, you know, there could be other things going on. A lot of people from my generation with Venus and Taurus have Venus opposite to Pluto. So relationships are a bit more intense, but in general, as a generalization, having Venus and Taurus is a really powerful and strong placement for love. Now, these people, um, really love with their whole heart and it can take them a while to actually open up to someone so venus in taurus isn't actually like the placement of love at first sight um like venus in the fire signs would be um venus in taurus is more slower to open up and even socially venus can show um how we are socially and you can see people with venus and taurus can be sometimes on the more shy side it doesn't mean they're not confident they actually can have a high level of confidence and self-esteem internally um with having such a strong venus placement but they just aren't like super outward you know they really um activate the power of venus to attract all that they want to them so you can actually see um people with Venus and Taurus or Taurus placements in general, rather than like being the pursuers of love or of money or of good things in life, they actually just like relax and allow all these good things to come to them. So that's a little bit more about their, their flirting style. Um, another big part of it um, with Venus and Taurus that I've found is that, you know, this could actually be the Venus sign that is the most physical okay like their love nature is physical it's earthy it's sexual it's sensual okay so when they truly love you they show it with their body so you know quite likely we're going to see with venus and taurus people one of their love languages would be physical touch they need lots of physical touch cuddling um hugs massages sex very very highly important to them so they also do need it to be loving though as well this isn't usually a placement for enjoyment of lots of casual affairs they want their true soulmate they want their love of a lifetime not that they can't have a phase of exploration because they probably can with venus being so strong and venus's sign and being so sexual and so um there's so many appetites with taurus energy right especially with venus and taurus they have a huge appetite for love they have a lust for life um and because they're so sensual and taurus is so um, associated with the pleasures of all the senses they um they can really actually have um a big taste for food and appetite and fine dining they could even enjoy cooking that could be one manifestation of this that's one sense right we have taste then we have the visual so venus and taurus women tend to be um very into their appearance and and not just their own appearance but also like the appearance of their surrounding right they really need to be um, in visually pleasing environments they need you to be visually pleasing as well they need to be with someone who is physically attractive and you know they might actually take great pleasure in like um dressing up and and wearing like the finest clothes and and you know being in um like a luxury kind of environment we can see 
um, people with Venus and Taurus falling in love um, with finances and um, that kind of lifestyle. Taurus energy can be known for um, loving someone's bank account, okay? Now, that's just going to be one manifestation of Venus and Taurus. It's more just like that they inwardly know that they are worthy of all the good things that life has to offer because of this lust for life and this, um, you know, big appetite for the good things in life. But in some cases, we're going to see people with Venus and Taurus, women with Venus and Taurus, liking men for the lifestyle that they can provide for them. So we have Venus in an earth sign here. We have, um, you know, a very practical love nature. They do want to be with a partner that is enhancing their life. They don't want to feel like they're being drained from a partner, right? They, they want to feel that, you know, financially, this is improving their life. This is enhancing their appearance. Like they are one of the more practical lovers, right? But they do, it's different than like a Venus in Capricorn. They do have a huge heart and they like, they really are giving too. They can be very given, um, but it's like, they also really fully believe in like a give and take and like that, yes, they're giving, but like they expect to be receiving from you as well. So um, they know like on a deep level that love is reciprocal. Um, we can see though with Venus and Taurus, it's like there's this love for luxury, but it's not quite as spendy as like Venus in a fire sign. They do like to hold on to their money more. They can be excellent at saving and um, like financial success can actually come easier to people with Venus and Taurus than other Venus sign placements because of the, the natural um, money emphasis of Taurus energy. Taurus is the money sign and when we have venus and taurus this is a strong placement for actual financial success in and love and money too like love and money are intertwined with this placement so it's um it's usually quite noticeable as well that these people have like a financial gift or a financial emphasis in their life meaning they value it they value it they find pleasure in it and they actually enjoy you know talking about money thinking about money whereas like some of the other venus signs you know couldn't be bothered with that but venus and taurus has a gift for it like um and they can also be very connected with nature as well um you know traditionally we would say venus and taurus you know gardening cooking like all of these kind of earthy things um now one other thing i'll mention as well these people can be very musically and artistically inclined um many great musicians oh my goodness so many great musicians and artists have venus and taurus so they can definitely be very musical and even if they aren't a musician themselves they take great pleasure in the enjoyment of music and um, art and yeah it's a really good placement to have and when they do love you they um they can be more on the possessive side this is a venus sign that wants to possess right taurus energy i have that's taurus's main phrase the people with venus and taurus want to own you in a sense now for the right lover that's going to be incredibly attractive because venus and taurus is actually probably the most loyal of all the venus signs once they have you they want to do everything to ensure that life is pleasurable for you and that you will never find another lover like them and on some level even though they're not the most outgoing of signs on some deep level they surely know that you will never find another lover like them they are the lovers of the zodiac they are the the goddess embodied and or men are like the love lover god embodied so yeah really good placement to have. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.